Hey guys, welcome back to another coin review. Uh, today's coin we're going to be looking at Flow. It's a very interesting project with a lot going for it. So let's just jump right into it. So what is Flow? Flow is sort of a, a, a back-end sort of system. They have a lot of things. Sort of, they have SDKs. They're mainly situated uh, around uh, collectibles and NFTs. Uh, as you can see here by the tags. And the tags stand out to me as a A16Z, very good venture capitalist. And Coinbase also an exchange. So you see already just from this cursory look that they do have a lot of backing. If you look at the market cap, it sits at uh, 3 billion with a 16 billion diluted. And key thing to note, they don't have a max cap for uh, supply. We'll go into that when we look and discuss the tokenomics for inflation rates. Prices, so if you do from all time, started at a $8 low, pushed all the way up to a high of around 38 then came back and now is trading at at the time of recording at $12.29 so a bit more about the project as you can see if you go to the websites they're helping uh, builders uh, develop projects and um, and products on the actual chain so it's a utility to sort of token that has uh, value outside of the intrinsic sort of hype they have highlights here, so in NBA top shots, so that's probably a very good licensing. And and you see the different sort of projects that were founded on top of uh in top of the sort of the flow ecosystem. And you see they publicly list the volume of sales. So for investors you can say, okay, we're selling this much. You can see growth over time, you can say come back to it in a month and see if the company is growing and depending on if they're public which they're not most cryptocurrencies are not public in the terms of uh, releasing sort of uh, financials and stuff like that so that's something that coming from a traditional market you may feel like uh, I can't see the debt to uh, asset ratio the amount of uh, investors you can see investors in this or but you can't see what in terms of commercial paper and, and other sort of things uh, that you normally see and normally get, be reported on unless you try to dig deep <laughs> outside of the blockchain so there we go this is a bit more about uh, the project itself so they have a again it's just back end just SDK just supporting and uh, projects to build so essentially think of it as a backbone to an ecosystem for NFTs and uh, non-fungible tokens and they're leveraging the ESC and the standard uh, standard token would love to see them uh, leverage uh, affinities uh, Affinities engines uh, engines uh, ARC which is sort of gasless on the bridge So when affinity comes in hopefully we can see some hook-ins with flow and affinity But that's near the hero there. So we'll go into the big sort of thing is the tokenomics So as I mentioned there's no max cap and they do have and they do suggest they have a low infl inflation rate uh, from reading the paper that I don't think they've discussed it but this and low inflation rate can be probably anywhere from one to four percent they sort of adopting the harmony one sort of uh, model in terms of you pay uh, stakers using the uh, annual uh, infl uh, inflation that you have and dish out to uh, people who are staking to increase incentives to stake the coin so you look at the token and you see the distribution in terms of everything you see a, a lob sided sort of Dapper Labs, you see large backers, small backers, and, and, and developer team taking a lot of the cake, so relative to speak. Community sales being us, that's all 13 to uh, about, well, that's 22% uh, tw to us, rest is sort of uh, in terms of outside of out of view. But considering it uh, doesn't have a hard cap, uh, and this has a long sort of vesting period, so you probably see the percentages move around as, uh, as uh, the ecosystem sort of grows. So you look at and they give you the top breakdown in terms of who how many uh uh flow each investor sort of owns in terms of the biggest ones and you can see some of the names here and the percentage relative to this percentage here so again percentage of, uh is actually the absolute percentage rather than the relative so about this 11.7 uh, percent that's been taken up this is this is the distribution this is nice to know just because you can see uh uh a 16 uh, z is one of these long term sort of uh, early on investors that don't look at just on the token so you know they have that uh, th you know you got 3.2% sitting in good hands 
So they also have a lion's share to Dapper Labs because they were pivotal, as they say, pivotal in the uh, in the development cycle. And we'll discuss Dapper Labs just in a, in a bit. But we'll go into staking wars. If as time of recording, so second of November, it's estimated to be out. So you can mint, and now they sort of increasing the inflation rate. So we'll look for it to start uh, uh, start increasing inflation year on year. You see a nice sort of uh, token uh, locked allocation. See the breakdown in terms of vesting period. You see a very uh, a long term sort of five year outlook for everything that's been locked away in terms of investments and uh, other things be uh, available. So remember, one year sort of before Dapper Labs can look to sell anything and it's it's uh it's uh vesting after the fact you can sort of pause the video and and, and read that for yourself i'll zoom in for your for your leisure and you can see the sort of actual numbers and it's not something that you need me to read out it's something that's nice to know but not important because we already understand that it's an inflationary token and uh oh, a very low sort of inflationary token in terms of things so it never be deflationary that's something that I think a lot of tokens are going for, but in terms of growing our ecosystem, uh, you see inflation. Inflation is just a natural part of life, and you see all the, all the investors and all the all, all the backers in this. You have Samsung Next, Dapper Labs, AZ12, Coinbase. A lot of big names and a lot of just big characters that you'd l you'd love to see. But remember, with all these uh, all these uh, venture capitalists investing. You see how, how it takes away a lion's share. As I said, I was going to come to Dapper Labs. Dapper Labs is an NFT community, and they're the ones that release uh, uh, Top Shot. They're built off the Flow SDK, from my understanding, and it's something that uh, they they leverage. So it's very sort of pivotal in terms of the tide. So that's something that uh, not you 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 when you see success in Dapper Labs, it should relate to success in the Flow ecosystem. So very sort of cool uh, ecosystem. Uh, we got to get a lot more projects, more projects coming to this, more use cases, more sort of uh, minting sort of fees and and doing that. They even got UFC. So UFC is also a big one. You you already see Crypto.com sponsor uh, UFC and and a lot of the uh, sort of shorts and and the whole thing. So UFC seems to be a very nice sort of area uh, uh, for reaching people in terms of NFTs. Uh, and or uh, crypto in general just because they've already have exposure so that might translate into more sales and volumes it'll be sort of cards and stuff like that so collectibles is a large market it's been a large market and the biggest sort of is a uh, uh, biggest market you want to target is obviously asia just because of the culture that uh, facilitates the large amount of con uh, collect collecting that you normally don't see in the western world so this covers things so you can buy packs and uh, through his cards and uh, you pay with Bitcoin or whatever you want. But everything's just built off the Flow Eco SDK. It looks like a very good project uh, to uh, analyze. So again, with five years, you're expecting a, uh, you 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 want to sit, sit, be situated higher than 16, uh, 16 billion market cap. We can sort of compare that to uh, the in terms of ranking for the other coins in terms of where everything's been sitting. Uh, that puts it in terms of market cap. We'll do that going down. So if we go 16 million, uh, that's Terra Luna. We have AVAX. So you would have to be situated near uh, AVAX and, and in between Lunas and, and LTC sort of uh, trade uh, actual market cap to be break even. And that's just in the five years. So again, inflation will always increase and, and you have more money coming in. The uh the longer sort of uh crypto goes on for as it's a very in uh in emerging sort of market and and a market that's in its infancy so you we don't know so sort of how much where how much sort of influx of money will be getting to this so finally let's go into the charts and discuss uh possible entries and possible exits so the chart does look very sort of bottomed out in terms of uh, we've been finding this bottom and we've been looking to find the bottom around eleven eleven or five. We can get this red we might trade into uh around 12 dollars so look to start accumulating it around here don't go into all one bag because again we don't know if they uh will try extend into a stop hunt and push down and if you push down into a stop hunt you can say reaccumulate more 
it's always nice to be safe rather than sorry and take profits you want to take partial profits at highs and you can look to reaccumulate when you see a, a bullish structure so if we say we break here yeah, well, the structure will probably return to here. So you can say we can sell some off in the short term, pick some back up for the mid term, and push up higher. And again, I can't uh, dictate how your trading style. I can just suggest uh, this is possible things that I would ideally like to do, do given the scenario. But I'm expecting a lot of uh, a lot of good things, especially considering the uh, hype and, and the uh, grandeur around the whole NFT market. So. Don't be surprised if this if you wake up one day and you see this at around 27 or even even higher. I know it did come from the Binance listing from 35, so prior to that it was uh it was a lot higher on, on a different exchange, because as we see around 38 was it was the top, and it came from eight and moved to 38. So you don't get the whole picture, but you get most of the picture with Binance. Uh, so you just gotta understand that you have some price action missing, but considering Binance being one of the industry leaders in terms of volume share. Uh, relative to all the other exchanges, it's always nice to see. Okay, this is where most of the volume is, and this is how price action traded in that. Flows a also available as a leverage contract, so do be wary that uh, there's possibilities for short traders to be profitable as well uh, over uh, long positions. The leverage position, uh, the leverage uh, contract is on Bybit, and I do have a referral link if you don't have Bybit and you want to leverage this trade. But leverage for shorts, as you can see, flow USD perpetual is there. Let's see if we have any perpetuals on anything else on FTX as well. So you have FTX and Bybit if you want to look to uh, enter into sell or short positions. But again, that's something that you can do if you want to use this to trade. It does have very volatile swings uh, every now and again. Very sort of uh, easy uh, for them to trap traders. Uh, probably see a very thin book around this area. So we're looking for a pickup, maybe get an additional sort of stop on, then push up here. So our range that we're looking to break is uh, is around 50, 16. So if we get a breakout of 16, and again, I don't say be breakout traders. I highly advise that. I say usually sell around here. It looks to like reaccumulate around uh, this structure. So we might see something like this. Maybe push down, reaccumulate around this area. Well, again, that will depend on price action, how it develops uh, in, in the larger scope. Uh, I might try this in again. You can ask me on my live streams every now and again to give you updates on this on the regular. But I think that will cover it with flow. Very good project. Does really great things. Uh, if you found this insightful, do please uh, leave a like uh, and share share this video around. And leave it on the note of enjoy the rest of your day and safe trading.